Hello guys, we have a bit of a bit of a situation here with this Kalea. See what I don't like is the looks of this pot. See the moldiness in it? Oh this heavy rain season. Plus this stuff was planted such a long time ago in that poor organ media. So before she starts getting cottony moldy on her inside because her roots look amazing. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose some because I need to get her out of this pot. This pot needs to be dipped in Clorox like ASAP. So I'm gonna put on my gloves. What I did was I began loosening it up on the sides ever so gently, trying to get all the way down, trying to get as much of the root system loosened it up so that I don't harm it. See, I have here the same dangerous mossy situation. See the green moss is starting to grow on this decomposing bark. See, very bad for your cats. So fortunately, the other cats are growing in good stuff. I don't have to worry about it. But this guy needs to go. But the by indication, the roots are amazing. So it's just taking it out of this stuff. That's the hard part. And I really don't want to harm it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on my other glove. Let me see. I don't know if anybody's living in there. So there you go. Tug, 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 tug. Oh, man. Been in there all her life. So yeah. Time to get out before I lose her. She hasn't bloomed yet. But all these new growths indicate that I'm getting close. And the bag baby tag came with a see, two tan camin pop cluster red. So, oh man, I'm a sucker for red orchids. So, hopefully, I can save this baby. Oh man, she is really putting up a fight. I know you love your pot, but. If I leave you in there, you're gonna get mold. Way too much mold. Just putting up a fight, guys. Never think that you're gonna repot and it's gonna be easy. Never, because it never is. Oof. Yay! Jesus. So the only good looking roots are the roots that are on the outside. See, the inside is already starting to suffer from the decomposing media. And let me go dump some of this stuff over there. I don't wanna get it all over and come back and show you how she's doing. I don't wanna put that all over the table, especially if it has mold on it. Looks like I got her in time. Got a lot of green roots. Just gonna trim off anything that's looking, you know, dead or thinned out but see the new roots are very green and healthy so i'm gonna pick out as much as this nasty bark off of it as i can without harming her and put her in a nice pot with my mix so that she can drain more perlite more charcoal more leca and less of this um awful bark there you go see it, look good. it looks good I'm hopeful for this one. The one that I did before her, I don't know. But this one, let me see. I, I have choices here on where to plant her. I'm a little honeybee. A little honeybee pot, but I don't know because she's kind of big. So I also have the Talavera one. I love this one. And since she's going to be red think perhaps the green one i love these um these talavera artisan pots they go on sale marshall's and tj maxx since it's not spring i found this in the back for 9.99 it's coated and it has a big old drainage hole so if i put good media she should be fine and i think she will be better here because she's got a lot of roots guys what do you think is she gonna be too tight or should I just mount her? Man, but she's gonna be a big one though. For a red cat thing. So after looking around the yard, I decided to skip the pot on this beauty. And I have this mount prepared here. I've had it hanging for a while and I don't know what to put on it. And she fits just right on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount this baby. Cause I think she's just gonna be fabulous with all the roots that she's got going. I'm gonna grab some stuff. I don't know. Big chunk of coconut fiber. 
I think what I'm gonna do is, man, she looks like she belongs here. I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna avoid the moss. I don't think she needs any of that stuff. It'll just decompose and be annoying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the Velcro. It's the bomb. I love this stuff. And I'm gonna run it behind and secure it. Yeah, it looks ugly at the beginning, but it helps her establish without squeezing too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that there and I'm probably gonna run it one other time because it's a little heavy up top on the back. Man, the mosquitoes are starting to say hello. I need more bug spray. Anyways, secure her. Trying not to grab her roots in the process. Let me see. Let me hold her up. Don't want to grab roots. Okay. Oopsies. Come on, guys. Cooperate. So what do you think? She's definitely going to fall over. Definitely have to go up a little higher. All right. That's what I always do. When in doubt, just test it. You don't want to find it the next day on the floor. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is she's kind of heavy. She's big. So I'm going to double Ooh I'm just measuring I'll tighten it up a little better so on the back I have this looks like a hot mess but I promise you it works I just put it a wee bit tighter and stick stick it correctly on here and voila she looks so pretty and we're done. I think she'll be happy here. And the roots are going to probably grab onto here real quick. And there it is. I think she'll be happy. So there's some filtered light there. And the roots can go wild. She looks like she was always on the mount. So, thanks for joining me. And I hope you have a lovely rest of the week. Free growing.